Hi Fire Signs, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, welcome back to my channel. We are going to be doing a tarot reading on your person, okay? What they're thinking, what they're feeling, what's going on in their mind right now. Uh, so this is uh, anyone that you're dealing with currently. So this person's current energies. If you would like a private reading with me, I am currently offering those. So please feel free to be in touch via email. Um, otherwise, we'll get to the reading uh, and we'll see what is coming up for fire signs. Um, you and this person. Okay, they're in a Taurian energy, so they're feeling super lovey-dovey. Uh, the Hierophant is ruled by Venus, okay? So this is a good energy. This is someone who's feeling very romantic with you uh, or someone who's thinking about a future with you. So that's fantastic. Um, right now, they're very smitten, okay? So right now, this person is very much in the present moment. They've got this childlike energy with the Six of Cups. So this person is very excited. So you may have done something uh, or you may have not have done something, but this person is really feeling a lot of exciting energy around you um, or they're feeling very nervous and excited to be around you, which is fantastic. Um, look, things are still in the early stages for them, no matter how long you've been with this person. Um, the children can represent multiple things, okay? We've got immaturity, we've got vulnerability. They could be feeling very vulnerable, okay? Much more than they um, have previously felt. Um, or they could be immature in a way. They're in a heavy romantic energy. And when we find ourselves in that Hierophant energy, because that Hierophant demands respect and, you know, look at him here. He's dominating the cards and he demands this respect and um, he knows he, he, he has these standards. So it's like... They're in this energy where they feel like they can start demanding more from you romantically, um, changing your status, for example, expecting you to cancel dates. They could be some sort of childish expectations. Um, I wouldn't say it's too severe, though, because the Six of Cups isn't reversed. If it was reversed, I would say more it's like these ridiculous expectations. I would say it's more like um, you're evoking their inner child, so they feel vulnerable around you. Um, and there's something that they want to demand. Could be marriage, respect, um, show you know you showing off the relationship. Maybe they want to meet your social circle, your friends. There could be this step that they're ready for, and something that they're sort of um, feeling anxious over. The Nine of Swords. There's something that's been plaguing their mind. Um, it could revolve around family topics of marriage or romantic energy. But I feel to see that um, Taurian energy. It's like. They're starting to feel really centered. They're starting to feel like they're in this routine with you or they're starting to see a long-term vision, even though right now they're still in that childlike energy. Now, they could be doing very romantic things if they are in this kind of energy. Um, they may be cooking you dinner, taking you out, um, making you uh, making you nice things, planning dates, making time for you. So I feel like the expectation is their fire signs. So I think a lot of you are just going to absolutely indulge in it. Um, I think they're starting to think long term, but I feel like keep being drawn to this, like the children are in the present. And what the cards that would be coming up reverse is the three of wands and the six of wands. You may have recently shut them down about a future, okay? Now, I don't know if you shut down the conversation, fire signs, you are the ones and you're coming up reversed. You've shut them down um, and there could be an element of slight rejection. So I feel like their ego has been a little bit bruised here. And I think their way of tweaking the situation and making it better or making you see them um, for how they really are and really trying to impress you, they're trying to be this sort of romantic energy. So I think they're trying to make it up to you. Uh, I think there might be something that they're after here. There could be an ulterior motive. But I feel with the six of ones and the three of ones, it's not for show. Um, it's because they want something out of it. It's not for show because I feel with the world reversed, it's not like, oh, I want to, I want you to think I'm this person when I'm not. So I think it's legit. Whatever it is that they're doing here, it's coming from a real place. I think it's coming more from anxiety. Now they may be fearing some sort of ending. The nine is an ending. 
Now, for some of you, if you've sort of shut them down in a way, you've rejected them, you've shut down this sort of element of the, of the two of you moving forward and having a future together, then okay, now it would make sense that, okay, this person feels threatened, they don't want to lose you, they're, they're fearing losing you. It's an um, anxious thought that they have here. It's something going on in the privacy of their own mind. They're not telling you. Instead, they are, uh, how do I say, they are sort of um, trying to avoid that energy um, by enticing you. And it's through this romantic way that they know how. Um, I feel like they are fixated on this thought and it's it's come up around them because to, uh, Hierophant energy is also like deeply stubborn. So they're, they're pretty set in their way um, right now, fire signs. And I feel like um, they're trying to make the best out of a bad situation. So... Yeah, I feel like with the Six of Cups, this is their way. But like I said, I don't think it's 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 fake or there's pretenses here. I think they're genuinely trying to make you feel uh, a certain way. And I, you know, I, I don't, I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't shun it. I would go along with it. But I would say it's something that, if this is you coming up in the reading as a Six of Wands and Three of Wands, it's either you're not ready to share this relationship or share this person, and they feel it. You haven't gone official with them. Maybe this is something that's plaguing them. Could be a long distance thing. The Hierophant, the world can represent tradition and familiarity, customs, values, religious beliefs, all those sorts of things that um, are valuable to us or that we deem important um, are coming up here. But I feel like with the Hierophant and the Nine of Nine of Swords, it's almost like they're waiting. Um, they're waiting for something here, or there's a bit of a wait. It could be that they're waiting on you um, to hear from you, you to initiate something here. There's a feeling that they may have left things in your court. They left the ball in your court, uh, and it's up to you to sort of um, see where that goes. It's going to be up to you to see or act on it or sort of decide what the future of this connection is. So you've got a lot more power than you think you have fire signs. Um, and it's really plaguing this person um, so much so that it's come up in the reading here. So um, it might be something you know on a subconscious level or maybe on a conscious level, and it might be something that needs to be spoken about um, in this current energy. I will leave your reading at that. So thank you again so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to leave behind a like, share or a subscribe. Uh, and hopefully we shall be connecting very, very soon. Uh, thanks again for all your love and support and your emails. Really do appreciate it. And we shall be in touch tomorrow. So take care and bye for now.